I think this is a pretty pretty neat game. I like it. Now, there are wooden dice, so if that's a turn off for you, hey, I don't know. Some people are weird about that stuff. Now, one thing I was a little concerned about is, is uh, are these you know little characters going to start chipping off? Well, we've already played this game over 20 times, and they're not showing anywhere on them at all so far. So, overall, I have to say the components are great. Now, the other thing is, is that you're actually going to get these sheets that you're going to check the animals off on. Now, what are you going to do when you run out of these little sheets here, okay? I guess we're going to have to buy a whole other pad of them. Is that a big deal? I don't really think so. I guess it depends on the cost of it. We've got, I'd say, probably about two-thirds of ours still left, so we're okay on that. Eventually, I think we're going to run out because we have played the game quite a bit. Well, i got to tell you, I love this, and I'll tell you why. I love Zuloretto. And I always want to teach all my friends how to play. And they come over, they want to learn how to play, and then they take the entire game learning how and don't really enjoy the game. None of us really enjoy the first game. This is great because it's easier to learn and everybody enjoys it the first time they play. Well, we've enjoyed this as a family. Um, we've actually, all four of us have sat down and played, even though the kids aren't in the video, they're off playing. But the kids enjoy rolling the dice, they enjoy getting the animals, and they understand how the game works. So we're not having to make the decisions for them. They can make them themselves. Whereas my son does try to set trucks up for himself and does get mad if you take them, but that's okay. He's six, you get used to it. <laughs> but what I do like is, what I'm trying to explain is, it's very easy to teach. This game is great for my son. You know, I'm a homeschooler and he's just starting kindergarten. And he really enjoys games like Martian Dice, but I like the fact that in this game he has to make decisions, he has to, uh, you know, learn a little more, and he has to mark the things on the paper, and I just really think it's really good for him to play this game, and he's learning. Another thing I like about this game is that, I mean, it's so small, and, and it's compact. You can take it anywhere with you, and you can play pretty well anywhere as well. You know, you got the big box version back here, and there's like a gazillion little pieces in that, and that can take up a lot of table space. Whereas this one, it takes up hardly any room on the table. You can play it, you know, while you're waiting for your, you know, dinner, your lunch, whatever, while you're on vacation. That's what I think is groovy about this one. And in my opinion, it's just as fun as the big one as well, because, you know, you're, you're still rolling the dice, and you really don't know what type of animals you're going to get, so it still gets the same kind of enjoyment out of the big one and the small one, but it's just fun size. Um, comparing this to the original Zuloretto, I would have to say, you know, the original is so much fun to build your little zoo, and you really get the sense of accomplishment of building a zoo. Um, that would be the difference. This game, though, I'm just as satisfied playing, honestly, because you're making all the same decisions. It's basically the same game. It's just compact. Well, there are so many dice games out there, okay? You got Martian dice, you know, you got the new dungeon dice or whatever it is, okay? I mean, zombie dice. I mean, there's dice of out there, okay? So, you know, when you're looking for light filler games, you're going to want to make sure that you just don't just buy a bunch of them because then you got a bunch of filler games. What are you going to do? Um, what I like about this one more so than what I like about any of the other dice games that I've played up until now is that it feels like there's a lot more decisions to make in this one. It's not just a simple, I rolled this, okay, well, I succeeded in that or whatever. You do have to make more choices beyond just rolling the dice is what I'm getting at. Uh, whether you're going to take the animals, take a risk and get the, the alligator early and score the extra bonus point. I mean, there's a chance you're going to negate them points because you may get an alligator later. So... I like this one probably the best out of any of the dice games, but yet it still fits and fills that little filler game role perfectly because it's going to play in about 20 minutes. So you're waiting on Bill and Todd to show up, whatever. Hey, let's sit down, we'll play Zulorado Dice, and uh, we'll have a good time with it. So certainly a game we've enjoyed quite a bit around here, and certainly one that I would recommend. Of course we love this game. There's elephants. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, purpose is just to give our opinion quick and to the point, and we did. Now, if you want to see this game and how it plays in real time, well, we did a live play. My wife and I sat down and played the entire game. One of us won. Anyways, go check that out, and you're going to get a good feel on how Zula Red at the Dice game works. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.